Natalie and welcome back to my sewing vlog The Seaside Sewist. So this vlog today is all about a pattern review. It is a simplicity pattern and I made it in two different fabrics just to see what I thought of the fit and the way that it sewed up etc. So this is the pattern, it is the Simplicity 8735 and it is a wrap dress pattern and it, it goes from size 6 to size 24 size 6 being a bust of 30 and a half waist of 23 and a hip of 32 and a half and then that goes up to a bust of 46 waist of 39 and hip of 48 and that's in inches um, so what does it recommend you to use? Fabrics, chambray, cotton types, crepe, jersey, lightweight denim, linen types, micro suede, ponty, silky types, stretch velvet. So there's quite a lot there you can make it from. Um, you either need D-rings for this version here, A, eh, for the closure but I just used the um, straps where you tie them in a bow and I made it with the short sleeves as shown on here. So the first version that I made was in a waffle jersey from a Saw Haley Jane box. Now it's quite an easy um, saw, it doesn't have many pattern pieces, the bodice isn't lined like some of the wrap dresses that I've made. It's darted. Um, I think I made size 10 in this um, and it fits great. So the first fabric I used as I say was this waffle jersey and because it was quite stiff there's a couple of elements that I've added myself um, to make me happier with this. So the facing here they just ask you to anchor it at the shoulder seams and at the bottom while it kept kicking out even though it was edge stitched. So I then, you can't see really, but I top stitched it down all the way around just to anchor it in a bit more. I also put a little press stud fastening so that the front would fasten across because, be because of the thicker fabric I think it just kept trying to untie itself really which isn't very good when you've got a wrap dress on and you've only got a bra and knickers underneath so this is the um, bow to tie at the side and then I cut this one off just at the knee I think um, so as I say I'll put pictures of, of, in of me wearing that one the one I preferred was the one that I made out of viscose and this was part of um, the Minerva Ambassador team so I'd got some Minerva exclusive viscose sent through and I made this one I literally made this one yesterday I prefer the fit I prefer the drape and I think it just suits me a lot better in the drapey fabric so it's this fabric here, um, I will link the, this fabric in the description box below but as you can see I then did top stitch down again because I'd learnt from previous but I didn't have to put a press stud here, it just because of the drape it does just pull across itself and it's fine. So again tied at the side and then I hemmed this more of a midi because of the drape I just thought it was lovely to to have that length so as I say I will put pictures in here of me wearing this one so I do prefer this one so reviewing the pattern really as I say I thought it was really easy to follow the front is panelled so you do have the back piece 
and then there's two front pieces here so you've got a, a front piece and then a little side piece that goes in so that's all constructed and then you literally do your shoulder seams and your side seams then you make your skirt which has a back piece and two front pieces then you attach all that to the bodice and then you put the sleeves in and the facing the facing is probably on the first one because it's quite a structured fabric the facing was perfect on this one the facing was a little bit out and I don't know why I continued but I sewed it in knowing it was wrong I then edge stitched it knowing it was wrong and then I top stitched it struggling with it because it was wrong so yesterday I literally had to unpick three lots of stitches to take the facing off to make a new facing to fit properly and it now is perfect um, so if I've learned anything from that make it is you know if something doesn't look right or you think a piece you've cut is too big or too small stop recut it um, because it's only going to go one way and it's, it's, it's not the good way so that is just a little review there of of a pattern that I made in a couple of different fabrics um, would you like to see more of this type of video where I just review a pattern once I've made something rather than put it into a, a makes video um, and I can maybe go a little bit more into depth of what I found from it any tips that, that I've got there so obviously my biggest tip on here is to top stitch that that facing down because it would have annoyed me forever and a day so yeah let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it have you made that pattern before what fabric did you make it in were you happy with it what tips and recommendations could you give also please subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i'll see you again in my next video bye